because I think probably out of everyone in the field, I care the least about the money. Don't tell the rest of us that you're so virtuous because you don't have to worry about it. Give me a break. Dark Star, I was uh, thumbing through my dictionary yesterday, as you know, I like to do that occasionally when I'm bored. Uh, and I, I happened to stumble across the definition of insincerity. And I'm going to share that with you if you don't mind. I would love to see this. Okay, let's. I have some video of the definition of insincerity. Here we go. From behind, but what, why do you think you thrive so well as the chaser? Chaser? It's a golf question. Because I think probably out of everyone in the field, I care the least right. about the money. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> special. That's, that is I'm, special. Probably it. But how'd you make all that money? We don't care about money here, Mr. Hughes. Well, that's because you have it. Would you repeat that? You don't care about money because you've always had it. And there's yeah. the there's insincerity. It just yeah. flashed across the bottom of my screen. And when Roy when Roy enlightened me with his brilliant moralizing commentary, Roy, why why are you so good at coming from behind? He was six back coming into the end of the tour championship and won yeah. the tournament. Um, you know, it's not because of his game, Dark Star. It's because he's a, a good person. Not yeah. like those... Who, who would he be referring to? Not like those other guys who not are like those bad people. On that other tour. Tournament. Yeah. yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Dark Star. He's got the $18 million FedEx Cup bonus. My favorite part of this is the little added comment of everyone in the field. Just let's slap every other player in the face that you guys all care about money and you can't win because you care about money whereas i'm the most altruistic golfer ever to play <laughs> well actually i found a picture because right underneath the definition of insincerity was you know some other uses of the word i found this picture uh which i thought you know it was rory riding his bicycle to a golf tournament Oh, no, that's not what it is. It's Rory on his gorgeous Bombardier 650 private jet. That apparently that's an old he picture. Owns. He probably has a newer jet by now. Not a fractional jet, as according to news sources. I, don't, I didn't bother to do a ton of research no. here, but uh, isn't that nice? It's he's nice got to have a, your own Bombardier, he, but he does feel guilty about it, Dark Star. I want you to know he feels guilty know. about it. I, I, let's off the jet here. Let, let's get back on. No, 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 on. I want to spend get... some time on the jet. Because <laughs> this, this is next to the definition of insincerity. Because then we'll roll right back to the video. Why are you a good chaser? Because of all the guys out there, Dark Star, I'm the guy that's least interested in money. Well, does it have anything to do with the hundred million you're already sitting on? Good for you. I'm glad you earned it. You did earn it. Nobody gave it to you. But you do have a hundred million. You don't, you know, pass somebody in a wheelchair and then croak about how you can walk. Would you repeat that? You don't care about money because you've always had it. Uh, you know, do you have no sense in your head, Rory? You know, let's go stick a microphone in front of player number 130. See if they're interested in the money. Maybe they yeah. are. Uh, what, yeah. what, what, what do you, what do you right. say? You're, you're being a little harsh on Rory. I, I think he's I getting think some... So. I think he's getting some poor advice here. He's not, you know, he's not a bad guy. But I, I think he's just, you know... If you, if you look at the clip... He did pause. He was <laughs> reaching in his brain. What did Jay want me to say? He here's what Jay wanted. Yeah, he, here's what Jay wanted me to say. Now, obviously, I'm a good chaser because, well, it takes the pressure off my putting. And if I could putt, nobody else would win a tournament. So, <laughs> I mean. Well, uh, I understand. But he could, in, in all fairness, and I won't be over the top, audience. I apologize. All right. I apologize, Rory. I'm so sorry. Yes. No, I'm really apologize. not sorry. Um he could have said, if he wanted to say what he said, he could have said, you know, I've been fortunate. I've made a lot of money out here and I'm blessed. I'm blessed with a talent. I'm blessed with the ability to play here and it's the greatest thing. And that has freed me up. It's given me freedom to chase as I, I, I'm lucky. I don't have to worry about winning the extra bonus. I don't have to. I can just think about the title. Although the last time I checked, the history books don't really note who won the FedEx Cup, which is a commercial title by yeah, its very no, nature. I, I don't know if anybody watched it. Still don't know if anybody watched it. I, I didn't got watch a 2.2. it. I think I looked that up. A couple Did of million you? people. About average. Okay. About average. Right. Yeah. Which All is right. not good. But just to be so disingenuous, I just uh, obviously it hit, hit a few buttons for me.
Yeah, you're uh, you're getting a little you're getting a little fired up. You're getting well, I don't maybe... disabuse them of making money. Hey, I want everybody to make a ton of money and use I your talent too. to do so. But don't tell the rest of us that you're so virtuous because you don't have to worry about it. Give me a break. What do you do when your real life exceeds your dreams? Keep it to yourself. Well, That's I think this ridiculous. is where you know Rory called Phil naive back a few months ago, and this is Rory just you know being yeah. naive. Yeah. He's just he's got to start thinking for himself and he's got to start being his own person again. I, I, I think he's getting off track here. Good. Advice. Um, the uh, and it's you know, he slaps the top players in the in the face by saying, you know, they, they they couldn't win because they were worried about the 18 million. But the real slap in the face, like you said, is to the 130th player. The, some of those players that grew up impoverished and, and, and we won't mention any names, but, you know, I don't think they would take his comments very kindly because. Some of those guys that went over to live tour, they now don't have, they're going to play a lot better golf because they don't have to worry about the money. There's no pressure on them trying to put food on the table now. Big difference. So Yeah. I mean, it's it's just, it's a stupid thing to say at best. And at, at worst, he probably irritated more than a couple of players down the food chain. Um, yeah. You know, more than a couple. I mean, most of the stories in golf are, the vast majority are guys struggling to get there, guys struggling to keep their card. And guys falling off the tour. Bob May comes yeah. to mind. You know, yeah. He didn't well, win. He didn't beat Tiger at the PGA Championship. And where is he now? You know, he's in a little condo teaching golf somewhere, probably. Yeah. So, so. I, I give Rory. I, I think he's getting some bad advice. I might give him the benefit of the doubt a little more than you. I, I don't. Um, but he, his hubris. His hubris was up with that comment. Let's leave it at that. Oh, I like the hubris. We're working with some vocabulary. You must have read your dictionary yesterday as well. I like it. I, uh, but yeah, just be straight with us, I think is what we're saying here. But uh, yeah, I agree. And uh, Dr. Darkstar is out.